Louisiana Beer Reviews, Old Style Oktoberfest, Martzen Style Beer. Heilemann's Old Style introduced this Oktoberfest beer in 2016. We can't get it down here. Heck, we can't get regular Heilemann's Old Style or Heilemann's Old Style Light. But Philip, Philip of Illinois sent me this, and I said, whoa. And I was so glad when that lady from some postal service, not going to identify which postal service, was bringing it here. Okay, so there's a lady dancing. There's an Oktoberfest party. There's Mr. and Mrs. Oktoberfest dancing on the front. Prost! Um, La Crosse, Wisconsin. The traditional location of Holloman's Old Style. And I went to that brewery the day it was bought out by Strohs in 1996. I was in the brewery the day it was bought out. That unleashed a panic. Three years later, Strohs themselves were bought by Paps. And once again, Old Style is being brewed at the La Crosse Brewery. I actually think the Highlandman's Special Export had been brewed there all along, even after the uh, switchover, because um, it was sort of indicating that on the Highlandman's Old Style uh, Special Export page. We I mean, sure don't get that down here. That's that um, export, the uh, Dortmunder style beer. And there's also an old uh, Special Export light. So here's the can. Really cool, cool, cool. They only make the four packs of the 16 ounce collectible cans. And I am going to collect it. I'm saving it. What kind of date is this? <laughs> 2036 LX 1233 FL. Yeah, um, sorry folks. Uh, not going to try to interpret that. Put the damn date, guys. That chaps my chapstick. And this video is going to go on for 10 minutes. All about the dates. It should go on for 10 minutes about dates. Come on, uh, City Brewing in La Crosse, Wisconsin, put something legible. Well, I guess that it, since it's in a can, it should be all right anyway. It says on the side, beer. Beer? Is it 6.4 and they're calling it beer? Well, we've got all kind of barriers coming down. Some barriers going up soon. <laughs> but um, apparently this um, deal about beer above 5% not called beer, that's uh, dying out. And with starting around January 2017 with even more deregulation of various and maybe all industries, you're not going to see that kind of enforcement, I don't think. Ooh, look at that deep amber color like a Martin style beer should be. It would be even thicker in a narrow wear brim glass. Thicker, bone colored head. Mmm. I've been drinking all of these Martin beers. Well, let me figure out how to put these things down. John Sharon at Zone 1 Beer Reviews. He was the first person in the world to review this beer on video, and I'm the second one in the world. Beautiful color. Ascending bubbles. Haze. A little haze. But, woo wee. Now, Beer Advocate, Rate Beer. They're both, they both have 11 ratings on each site. Just 11 written. Beer Advocate saying it's okay, a C. Rape Beer saying it's a 57 out of 100. They're just saying, eh, it's, it's bad. But in the style, now get this, in the style, it's a 92 out of 100. In the style, it's outstanding. This is an outstanding Martzen beer. Overall, it's garbage. Because you apparently hate Martzen beers. That is not a legitimate style. Okay. Fifty-eight degrees, sunny, a little breeze, dry. <sighs> I 
<laughs> this reminds me of the Budweiser Black Crown that we recently drank. This reminds me of the Joseph Sproul um, Hellerbach. I mean, hey. Rich malt brown bread crust. I keep saying the Roman meal bread, the Roman meal crust. I, I'm not one of these people that can come up with 63 descriptors each time. I just say simple things. I understand that, that it's not so great, but um, I don't want to just be making up stuff. Sweet, malty, nice. Yeah. A 57 out of 100, right? Really? An okay beer? Who's drinking this? It's sweet. It's rich. It's malty. There's caramel. There's, there's the deep, bold bread crust. There's the high, medium, almost, you could say, heavy mouthfeel, but not really heavy. A fairly crisp finish, medium dry finish. It's probably it's probably four out of five sugar cubes on the Cyclops scale, two out of five hop cones. It's almost like you could take this beer and pour it disguise it as something coming from uh, you know Munich and tells me oh yeah this is from blah blah family brewery in Munich has been around since uh, 1611 and blah blah and somebody would say oh the, all the subtle nuances of, of the various malts and the and, and the and the Hallertal hops and and they would just go on and on but if they say Paps La Crosse Wisconsin Highland and Brewing uh, it's okay. It's pretty underwhelming and inadequate in almost every way. I think it's dynamite. Dynamite. I'm going to say A. An A. Out. No, not A plus. Outstanding. But I would feel uncomfortable going any lower than a most excellent score in A. If you like rich, bold, malty beers with a relatively high alcohol content, a good rounding uh, hot bitterness and an over an overarching pleasurable drinking experience this is the one for you so thank you Philip you sent me the homunculus for my notorious homunculus video review two years ago <coughs> oh this carbonation Look at the lacing and now you sent me this I got three more left now some of my fans, my viewers, who live around here, you could have one. I'll give it to you. But I'm going to drink one more at least, but I got two people I can think of that might want to come get it. So you know who you are, but you got to be watching. I'm not going to contact you. You got to be watching and check me out. So ladies and les bon temps relay, a most excellent beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. And yes, Rajay. Southeastern Louisiana is an NCAA Division I team since 1980-81 school year, okay? July 1980. Thank you.